We're back on Inside Tennessee, closing this Sunday morning with a final few thoughts. Eddie? You know, just thinking through, um, the first four years were extremely difficult for Mayor Kincanna, not in a political sense, but just with all that she had to endure. Uh, looking forward to what's coming. Um, a lot of great things happened from both the city and county perspective. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to what the vision she's laid out and talked about this morning, uh, how that plays out and where the city is in four years. Don, she walked in right at the start of a pandemic. Yeah, uh, she said it off off air. You don't get to pick your legacy. Sometimes it picks you. Mm -hmm. And uh, she did a very good job navigating this. It was a tough time for all of us as we were figuring out how to deal with COVID. Uh, Granite City does not have control over the schools, but you know we have control over the citizens or involvement with those citizens. So it was tough. She's going to have some challenges this term. What's her biggest challenge? Do you sure, think, I, I frankly think it's KPD, and maybe it's because I'm so close to that organization and do work with them. But I, I think it's going to be a challenge uh, keeping officers, finding officers, keeping the ranks uh, stable. Um, there, there's some dissension amongst command staff and Chief Noel and the patrol officers. That's got to get worked through. Maybe time will fix it. Maybe in her term she'll be looking for a new police chief if things don't work out. I hope it does for Chief Noel and for our community, but I think that'll be her, her toughest road. All right, Don Bosch, with that perspective, Eddie Smith, always good to see you. Thank you for making time Thank for you. Us. Merry Christmas, John, and Merry Christmas to everybody at home. Merry Christmas to you, my friend. Susan will be back with us in the coming weeks. We appreciate you watching Inside Tennessee. Hope to see you back here on Sunday. Have a great rest.